So if you want to convert uh, imperial and metric units in a Microsoft Excel, then you have actually two possibilities. You can do it uh, either with the native uh, Excel convert function, or you can use an external piece of software for this, uh, which in this case is called Bohemicus. We have it uh, right here. And in this video, I'm going to show you both possibilities. So as you can see, here we have a table of some spare parts. And as you can see, there are some imperial, imperial units, such as uh, inches, or uh, we have some temperature Fahrenheit here, and we have some pounds here. Uh, so let's uh, first start with converting using the native Excel convert function. So let's start with this table here. Here we have uh, the numbers in inches and we would like to convert it into centimeters. So what you can do is to use the convert uh, feature, the convert uh, function of Excel. And you will do it like this. You will just write equals convert and uh, then you will specify the number or the source cell and then you will specify the abbreviation of units that you would like to use. So this is the source unit and this is the target units. So you need to specify the formula as this using the convert uh, function. Then you just press enter. And uh, as you can see this uh, works uh, very nicely and you can now just uh, copy it and it will automatically be adjusted for the uh, remaining uh, cells. So as you can see, this works perfectly. The only problem is that you have to know these abbreviations. So if you want to know them, you can go, for instance, to this web page here. And uh, as you can see, uh, you can see all the, all the abbreviations here. So for uh, distance or for time or for pressure, energy, force, and so on. You can see all the abbreviation, abbreviations here. Well, the only problem with this is that uh, as soon as you have uh, something else in your cells, it, it will stop working, it will break. So, for instance, if we add the word inch into the cell, as you can see, it will break. It will stop working because this cell is no longer considered a number, it's considered text, and of course the formula will stop working. So, and this happens especially if you have, uh, if you have uh, a table of spare parts uh, where you have combined text uh, with your measurements and with your units, such as you can see it right here. So for this case, you will need to use uh, something else. You will need to use, uh, for instance, Bohemicus, which is an external piece of software. We have it here. And it works uh, very, very simply and easily. You can just uh, select the number within your uh, within your cell, and you just press Control plus Alt plus F6. And as you can see, it will be nicely converted. So, for instance, we can use uh, this one: Control plus Alt plus F6. And this one again: Control plus Alt plus F6. And as you can see, it will be uh, nicely uh, converted. So we can now try the temperature, which is which we have uh, right here. As you can see, when you hold, when you press and hold the control key, it will show you which units are configured. So as you can see, under control plus uh, alt plus F6, so we have inches to centimeters. Under control plus alt plus F7, we have Fahrenheit to Celsius. And under the control plus alt plus F8, we have miles to kilometers. Uh, so we can now take advantage of the Fahrenheit to Celsius uh, conversion. So I press Ctrl plus Alt plus F7. As you can see, it will convert nicely. Ctrl plus Alt plus F7 again. And Ctrl plus Alt plus F7 again. And now we have pounds, but we haven't configured pounds. So to do that, uh, you can go to this... Um, language and settings and uh, then to unit conversion and we can configure pounds to kilograms right uh, here. So now under control plus alt plus F8 we have pounds to kilograms. So I can go back to Excel, I can select my text, control plus alt plus F8 and it will be nicely converted to 
kilograms. So again, control plus alt plus F8. And again, control plus alt plus F8. And it's uh, converted. So this is the Bohemicus. Bohemicus is a special tool for translators. It mainly focuses on machine translation, speech to text, and then on many useful features, uh, the unit conversion being uh, one of them. Uh, you can find it by clicking the link below this video. And uh, as usual, thank you for watching and uh, see you in future videos.